1939, the armies of Nazi Germany begin their conquest of Europe. First of all is Poland, then Denmark, Norway, France, Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. Now the year is 1941. With an army over seven million strong, the Nazi war machine turns to the east and begins the invasion of the Soviet Union. Using blitzkrieg tactics, they advance quickly, smashing relentlessly through the Soviet defenses and arrive at the capital city of Moscow in under four months. Desperately short of reinforcements, the Soviet defense of Moscow now falls to thousands of raw recruits who must hold out against the well-trained German forces in the freezing cold of the Russian winter. Welcome to basic training, comrades. If you wish to survive, you will do exactly as I say. Now, walk over to that table and pick up those weapons. You will have to move faster than that, comrade. You will need a real weapon if you wish to kill the fascists. Look at your compass. The star on the compass shows the location of your current objective. Now go to the storeroom and get a pistol and a rifle. Move! The weapons are on the table, comrade. Good. Now go back and report to the commissaire. Very good, comrade. Always remember to use the star on your compass to reach your current objective. Okay, Vasily. Let us see how good your aim is. Aim for one of those two teddy bears. Yeah, That's enough, Vasily. Now, let's see how well you can do under pressure. You have 15 seconds to shoot the helmets. Ready? That's enough, comrades. Come over here and pick up a grenade. These are potatoes, Comrade Commissar. Why are we using potatoes instead of real grenades? Commissar, my, my mistake. Commissar! We've got a prisoner. Come take a look. Vasily, come with me. Halt! Hören Sie auf! Bitte töten Sie mich nicht! Unsere Truppen umziehen ihre Positionen schon im Südostsektor. Behind our lines. Und... Und to the south Sie east, von and they are supported by half trucks and, artillery and mobile artillery. Sir, there's a German attack forming to the southeast. It looks serious. Listen, comrades. There is an armory to the east in the basement of a house. Go there and load up on ammunition and supplies. I will stay and take care of our guest. Remember what you have learned. Good luck. some Panzer rifles, comrades. Grab a submachine gun and make sure you reload it first. Always make sure you have a full magazine before you go into battle. Let's go, comrades. Up the ladder. Vasily, wait! Don't run at them! Throw a smoke grenade first to conceal our movement. Wait for the smoke to fill! Hold your positions, comrades! Just a bit more! All right, go! There's the Panzer Warfare! We need to find a way around this gate! My God, I thought we were in training. There is no better training, comrade, than fighting to survive. Comrades of the great Soviet Union, we have nothing against the common Soviet soldier. It is your leaders we are fighting who send you to battles you cannot win. Can you do it, huh? It's about damn time you showed up. The this way, comrades.
Germans are massing for a counterattack. Prepare yourself, comrades! We are too few! We cannot stay here! They will overwhelm us! Stay where you are! We will hold this position until you arrive! The aid station inside Snyder Street is counting on us to stop the fascists! Hold the line, comrades! Do not let them pass! German forces, having reduced the city to rubble in a massive aerial bombardment, meet with heavy resistance as the Soviet Red Army throws its entire force into the defense of Stalingrad. In the chaos of constant warfare, battle lines have dissolved. The ruins of the city have been divided up into hard points surrounded by no man's land. The German tactical advantage of the mechanized Blitzkrieg and its coordinated infantry and tank attacks is rendered useless in the concentrated street fighting. Threatened with execution if they retreat, the Soviet troops have no choice but to push forward into the bloodbath. Vasily, take second squad and repair the field phone wire. I'll clear these buildings with first squad and meet you on the other side. Go!
train yard! Let's go! Okay, Conrad, this way! Let's go! Good luck, comrades. January 2nd, 1943. Surrounded on all sides by Soviet forces, the German 6th Army at Stalingrad continues to crumble in the absence of a desperately needed supply line. Many German soldiers trapped in the city, who are now literally starving and running out of ammunition, continue to fight regardless, fearing that the Soviets will execute those who attempt to surrender. The fighting amongst the firebombed ruins of the city intensifies as thousands of Soviet infantry continue to retake Stalingrad, one block at a time. Comrades, the fascists have recaptured several apartments along the street. Our duty is to take back these buildings one by one, and then destroy their ammunition depot near City Hall. Let's go!
right, comrades, through the door. Let's clear this building. Let's move! Krieger, Schuss bei den Versorgungskisten suchen! Er braucht Hilfe, er wurde getroffen! Good shot, comrade. Well done, Vasily. Now let's move on. We still have to secure the rest of City Hall. The fascists are giving up the fight! The Germans are falling back! Run, you guards! <laughs> it looks like our numbers didn't come up today. Not yet, anyways. Nineteen forty one. The Desert Fox, Field Marshal Erwin Rommel, arrives in Libya to assume command of the Africa Corps. Within a few months, Rommel, the rising star of the German army, recaptures the territory taken by the British Commonwealth forces prior to his arrival. Despite being heavily outnumbered by the British forces, the superior range and armor of the German tanks allows the Africa Corps to take the fight to the Allies. By July of 1942, the Desert Fox and his unstoppable Africa Corps, in a series of classic blitzkrieg attacks, pushes the British forces eastward across the deserts of Libya and into Egypt. Now in late 1942, holding their ground a mere 60 miles from the Egyptian capital of Cairo, British Field Marshal Montgomery's forces, including the Desert Rats of the 7th Armored Division, prepare to blunt the German offensive and regain the initiative. Queen Six, this is King Six. Enemy tanks sighted leaving the depot. We're commencing our attack. Out. This is it, boys. Our decoys should keep those panzers busy while we wipe out their supply. Let's go! We need him back in the town, sir. Jerry tanks have been spotted advancing on our positions to the east. Looks like we're in for a bloody hard fight, lads. Get us back quickly, Private. Yes, sir. Davis, McGregor, get in the Bren carrier. Move. We're finished here. The crowds are already here. It's gonna be close. Hang on!
split into groups of six per tank. Come on, boys! Let's go! Stay with the tank! Wireless, then radio HQ and tell Monty's boys that we've secured the rally. McGregor. Nice fight. All right, listen up. We're finished here. Well done, boys. I'll drink to that, sir. Libya, 1943. The British Crusader tank enters its second year of service in the North African desert campaign. Desert tank warfare proves difficult and challenging for both sides. Dust clouds kicked up by the movement of the tanks and the firing of their cannons create poor visibility conditions during combat. Navigation is also a problem. The vast Libyan desert offers little in the way of recognizable landmarks. The British Crusaders, whose guns lack the range of their German counterparts, are forced to use massed high-speed charges to close within firing range. A dangerous strategy that leaves much to be desired.
Tunisia, 1943. Gaining momentum, the Allies press Rommel's Africa Corps into the Marath Line, a 22-mile stretch of defences in eastern Tunisia. Having lost their main supply base in Libya in January of 1943, the Africa Corps prepares to hold their ground on two sides, as they are now trapped between the American forces to their west and the British Commonwealth forces to the east. Despite these advantages, the Allies must proceed with caution, for the local terrain favours the defenders.
for Jerry's. I've got a real bad feeling about this. You keep your bad feelings to yourself. Just keep your eyes on the road. Search the area for intelligence and gather up the rest of these supplies. Be prepared to move out in two hours. Dismissed. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the Great Crusade, toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940-41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeats in open battle, man to man. Our air offensive has seriously reduced their strength in the air and their capacity to wage war on the ground. Our home fronts have given us an overwhelming superiority in weapons and munitions of war and placed at our disposal great reserves of trained fighting men. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck, and let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. Thirty seconds, Yanks! Don't be with you! Hey, Greybird, you look like you're gonna puke. You know what, Daddy? Why don't you just... Dog Company, listen up! Men on the beaches are counting on us to take out the coastal guns on those cliffs! Move fast, get topside, and get the job done!
here to fix them with your thermite grenades. I'll keep an eye open for crowd patrols. I'll take the ones on this side. Six calling Mission accomplished. Need ammunition and reinforcements. Many casualties. Over. Couldn't make visual contact. I did spot an 88 on the other side of the hedgerow. Expect a crew of at least two and a couple of MG42s. So what's the plan, Sarge? I need runners with suppressing fire. Garcia, Hawkins, take the left with Rosetti and Jones. The rest will follow me up the right flank. I want grenades on them as soon as we're in range. Brayburn, McCloskey, and Taylor, you stay back and provide a base of fire. Keep those cruts off us so we can move in. All right, move up. Wait for my signal.
last of them. Everyone assemble on me. Corporal Taylor, climb that silo with Braeburn and McCloskey and watch for an enemy counterattack. Everyone else, take up positions around the perimeter and stay sharp. everyone. Make sure your sectors are well covered and we'll meet back here in an hour. Dismissed. June 11th, 1944. Only a few miles east of the American landing beaches in Normandy, France, British Commonwealth forces struggle to capture the major city of Caen. It is here that they are faced with the superior firepower of elite panzer divisions arrayed along the German defensive line. To break the stalemate, the veteran desert rats of the 7th Armored Division are sent into the hedgerows of Normandy. Their mission, probe the western flank of the German defenses and clear a path to the city of Caen. Listen up. McGregor will take second squad down this road and hit the Jerry's right flank. The rest of us will do our part by cutting through the orchard and keeping the Jerry's busy. Let's go! We have to take out those mortars! I say we slot a sod in London. Hold your fire, that's an order! Whatever you say, sir. McGregor, get over here. You remember that German lorry we passed over to the east? We do, sir. See if you can get it to work and bring it here. Corporal Davis, go with McGregor. We need something to transport all these men. We'll do, sir. Davis, check your gear. There might be more Jerry's out there. War's not over just because we won this little fight. <laughs> Looks to be in good shape. The Jerry's were even nice enough to leave us a full tank of petrol. Got a bugger! Damn! 
Hold on, Davis! This might get a little bumpy! Sergeant. You know, Davis, I almost envy this lot of Yanks. The bloody war's over for these poor bastards. Listen up. We've been ordered to take the crossroads of this village and hold it until our convoy arrives. Let's go! Grouse! Bottom floor! Careful, lads! There's an MG-42 at the end of this road! It's an MG-42! Controls this crossroads. Davis, take some of the lads and check that farmhouse for Fritz. Cover! 
Let's secure the church. Let's get some fire on those windows! Position. Let's go! King 6 to easy 6. We've taken our bloody objective. Over. Understood, King 6. Be advised. Four enemy patrols sighted approaching your sector. Hold our flank against the German counterattack. You must buy us enough time to move the rest of the division to safety. Out! You heard it, lads! Take up defensive positions in a farmhouse! Let's move! They'll be coming from the side! Find a good position and get it! mess thanks to our efforts on this flank. That said, our job here is done. So let's get the hell out of here. December 7th, 1944. Allied forces cross the border between Belgium and Germany, encountering heavy resistance near the town of Bergstein. Towering over the small town is Hill 400, providing German artillery spotters with a perfect view of Allied forces for miles in all directions. Devastating artillery barrages directed from the summit inflict numerous losses upon the Allies. Now, the U.S. 2nd Ranger Battalion prepares to capture the hill and deny its use to the Germans. Listen up! Battalion wants us freezing our asses off on top of that hill by the end of tomorrow. But first, we gotta kick Jerry out of this cute little town. Stay close! Let's go!
All right, fellas. We're gonna dig in and wait for the rest of the company. Watch for a counterattack. That hill to the north is crawling with crowds. Tomorrow morning, we're going up there to clean them out. Third squad, spread out! I want the 30 cal right over here! What are your orders, sir? The crowds almost have a zeroed in! Shut up! Just shut up! I need to think about this! Well, you better think fast, Mac! Hell, we can't sit here like this! We gotta move! We gotta move, Lieutenant! Let's go get the bastards! Soon, but I wouldn't hold my breath until we get some.
In an extraordinary turn of events, a single bridge across the Rhine River is captured intact by the US 9th Armored Division. German forces desperately establish new pockets of defense along the length of the Rhine River in an effort to slow the Allies' advance. Then, on March 24th, a massive assault is unleashed by Allied airborne divisions to secure positions east of the Rhine. At the same time, at various points up and down the river, more Allied forces prepare to make their own crossings into the heart of Germany. job you guys we took on the best troops germany had to offer and sent them running for their mamas up and down the rhine i'm proud to serve with you men you're all good rangers that's for damn sure sergeant randall one more thing i don't know about the gentleman part but how'd you like to be an officer i'm offering you a field commission as a lieutenant good leaders are hard to come by what do you say well i'd be honored sir but the thing is we'd be short a sergeant Corporal Taylor here, he might be worth looking at. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, Lieutenant. See to your men. Dismissed. April 16, 1945. The Soviet Red Army commences its attack on Berlin, the capital city of Nazi Germany. Half a million soldiers and civilians alike perish in a terrible battle that lasts for nearly three weeks. As the Allied forces converge on Berlin from both east and west, the Nazi leadership begins to crumble under the weight of imminent defeat. On the 8th of May, 1945, the German armed forces surrender unconditionally to the Allies. At a cost of 50 million deaths, the war in Europe is finally over. Throughout the Allied nations, victory in Europe Day is officially celebrated, marking the defeat of Nazi Germany and the fall of the Third Reich.
forward! 